the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. I agree, I agree. If you don't know who your neighbor is, then how can you apply what you just said? I agree. That, that That's my point. I'm just making sure the calculus of him, Jesus answering, was based on verse 29, right? When he had stopped at, when Jesus stopped at 28, if that guy ain't said nothing. Yeah, Probably would that, right? No, I don't think he could stop there because, see, Jesus knows that this guy don't understand. Okay. That's, okay. that's the only reason he asked him a question. Okay. Okay. That's a good, I'm just throwing it. That's a point. That's a good point. The whole, the whole purpose of Jesus' question is, okay, let me see if you know what you suppose that they have both been teaching God's people. You can stop sharing, brother Addison. You're supposed to be yeah. teaching God's people there. Yeah. So let me find out what you're teaching. Yeah. <laughs> um, tell me what you're teaching. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Uh, but he, he's doing that after the guy tried to justify himself. But you're right. He did not oh, clear you know, it. This is so, before he justifies himself. You know, this is, is this? I don't see what's the question? This is in verse 25. It, 20, 25 is the question. I yeah. just wonder whether Jesus would have stopped at 28. Not but, now. In 26, he asked him, okay, what you teach him? <laughs> so, I would, I, would, I, I actually tied twenty three and twenty four to this. Oh, really? And, uh -huh. and, and because I was thinking along the lines of what what Bishop was saying as well, because I think he was expecting to get some kind of revelation from Christ. But when I, I was reading. Uh, 23 and 24 says blessed are the eyes which see the things that ye see talking to his disciples he said for I tell you that many prophets and kings have desired to see those things which ye have seen and have not seen them and to hear those things which ye hear and have not heard them mm -hmm. and then right after that it goes into this man trying to get something that was not for him <laughs> Well, he did. Say, well, it's interesting. That man was asking a a serious, legitimate question. Yes, yes. But I think he was looking for some 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 revelation behind that. Oh, you think so? I think. And, and, and I, I think I think, and and this is, I just believe that he was expecting something and not expecting Jesus to ask to to ask a question. You mean answer the question? Answer. To answer his question with a question. Right. I think he was looking for something else. Right. And so, he, 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 so for him to to you know to be in that position to ask that question and everybody knows that he's a lawyer and 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 that he knows the law, for him not to answer that question would I mean who's gonna be tempted then? Right. So he, wanted, he had to answer that question. Right. He wanted Jesus. He wanted to trick Jesus up on trying to say something contrary to the law. And Jesus responded back and said, "The answer is the law." Mm -hmm. Tell you know what I mean. So he Jesus would answer, but then again, like I said, Bishop Bishop was saying he jumped back to you don't understand. You you you. I gave you the answer that you asked for. So that you can't trick me up, you can't say accuse me of not of violating the law. But you don't understand, based on your second question, who is my neighbor, clearly tells me you don't understand the answer. And, and I guess the CIT then would be answering, does this CIT, and I think that's what you start off with, basically correct me wrong, is our CIT should be focused on the answer. Yeah. Is that right? I think, I think the whole CRT is addressing the yeah, the question. How you how you can actually how you uh, oh listen, Jesus really see you, when you get into this thing you gonna find out Jesus knows this man can't keep the law. Yeah, 
Yeah. He did. He said, he said, he said who is my neighbor? Right. Nobody can keep the law. Except well, he couldn't even, he couldn't even keep the first part. He can't, he, <laughs> he can't, can't, I'll, let me put it to you like this. And, and I know we know this. Outside of Christ, right. who can love God with all their heart, with all their strength, with all their might? Who, who, who can, that, that means that you have completely and utterly gave up everything like Christ. Yeah. And your entire life is to fulfill to will the will of God. Yeah. Not the will of Myron. Right. The will of God. Not the will of my wife, but the will of God. Not the will of my son and daughters and sisters and brothers and friends, but the will of God. Right. So who, who outside of Christ can fulfill that? Well, the real question only through Christ can you do that. So that 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 part he he, he knew he I, I believe that's why he went to well who is my neighbor? <laughs> and, and, and you know what, Sally, you know, it made me think that uh Brother Addison, he loved himself. <laughs> that's what he, by justifying, he tried to love, love himself, probably. I don't know a lawyer that does. <laughs> <laughs> but back to the point Benjamin said is, I should. I, he's basically saying this is that our CIT should be addressing the answer to the question, how do I turn inherit eternal life? And I was wondering, Bishop, because I was when I. When, we, when I said that, even the one I had up there, was that the kingdom had to mean you have to love your neighbor as yourself. I mean, that's the, that is the answer that he was trying to demonstrate that your neighbors could be anybody that you despise. But the only reason neighbor is relevant, the only reason that neighbor is relevant is because of the answer. Yeah. Apart from the apart from the answer, we have no business talking about the Good Samaritan. Woo! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. It, it, what, what I when I looked at that, it, it was I, I kind of like just replaced the Good Samaritan with someone who's Christ-like or Christ Himself, Jesus mm. Christ Himself. Interesting. That's I, what I did. That's interesting. Um, because. Christ came to give his life for those who are unfortunate. You know, he, he gave his life for those who were suffering, for those who are misfortunate. Uh -huh. So I just replaced that Samaritan with Christ. This, this is this is just all in my yeah, yeah. My, my study and stuff to, to come up with what I came up with. So right. I, I encapsulated all that and then I just broke it down to what you took it, to, was, you took it back what, to the channel for Mark Matthews I, I, I just took it back to what the spirit was just showing me and, and dealing with me and and and, and did that yeah who, you know because like who's, I said because right here I got I have you know all kind of yeah notes you know I got pages and pages of notes who did, who did the Samaritan represent? I just told you. Yeah, I thought you said that. I thought your man was wounded. Was the one who was okay? What was the man that was hurt? Did he represent? What did he represent? He represented those who who were outside of the religious leaders to me. Okay, or a man, right? To me, I, I know I put it down as man. Well, he wasn't to me. He wasn't no Pharisee. No, he's your neighbor. All he represents is your neighbor. Yeah, I, I understand that. I, I'm, I'm just saying. In, he represents in this, all of us. Does he represent all of us? Yeah. 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 That's what I'm thinking, Bishop. He represents all of us. And and on top, I mean, he's not. In, I think it's important to understand to love your neighbor, and that your neighbor could be something because the Jews had nothing to do with what Bishop was. It's, no, we just trying to wrap it up, Bishop. I think it's good to, to break that thing down and look at every piece of it. The, the piece I'm looking at is that, that the man that was wounded, 
is the neighbor, but we don't know whether he was a Jew or a Samaritan. The significant was that the Samaritan did the will of God. And like you said, it ended up representing Jesus. Well, I, I, uh, I, I, I know how <laughs> the spirit was dealing with me in the scripture. And uh, so I didn't think that there was a, a wrong or right answer. Since you know, it's spirit, no wrong or right. That's not. Since the spirit is is is, is always think. dealing with each, each person on their own personal yeah. level. Yeah. So I, to I me, it seems I, like because I didn't focus on on the the, the the scripture that 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 the answer that the the lawyer gave. Or, or that Jesus responded with specifically that I missed the mark or something. No, no, I think I think I like the fact is that first was at least for me, I was just wanting to see where you was coming from. That that's all I was doing. How you got there? The and then the other piece was the point that Bishop brought up that I wasn't even. Well, hold on, I, no. I, I wasn't thinking about Bishop. Was the point was. The answer, Jesus was answering the question, and, and I guess we should have centered around his answer for eternal life. I mean, that's 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 that was the whole you like you said the whole point of that story was how do I inherit eternal life? Or maybe Bishop he was asking the question, is who's my neighbor? Well. He did ask the question. Well, if you was my neighbor, but if you want to really get serious, if you really want to delve deeper in that, the deeper question is, is that Jesus really takes him up because he asked the question, "What must I do?" Yeah, you, you yeah. listen to the phone. Yeah, I, and I, I even addressed that as well. well I said we he know. asked. He asked one of the greatest questions that mankind of, of yeah, mankind. Yeah, but that addresses that addresses the means to eternal life. That that's not addressing something else. That what must I do focuses on eternal life. Yeah. And the whole issue is what Jesus is really saying, ain't nothing you can do. <laughs> Well, I wrote that down and I said, none outside of Jesus Christ could fulfill the law. So what could he do? So, to, oh, to, if you're going to be true to the text as a preacher, eternal life better be the central thing that you're talking about. Mm. If you're going to be true to the text. Now, you right. can do anything you want with the text, but I don't think that that's what Jesus was trying to get at in the text. Yeah. In the text, yeah. he's trying to tell us, man, when you start talking about eternal life, and how you get it yeah you first of all you come at me the wrong way because eternal life has nothing to do with what you can do Woo. i want to ask you a question to see if you really understand yeah <laughs> he, he could say hey look he couldn't say that directly right he could <laughs> because he missed it because jesus knows his motive is not pure it's not that the spirit of god doesn't let jesus leave jesus in the dark when he start dealing with these people Right. He, now he just finished beating up the scribes and Pharisees with eight woes in the verses above. Right. Yeah. <laughs> now here come one of his one of their protege, one of their disciples, asking Jesus about the very reason why father, why the father sent him into the world. Mm -hmm. And he said, okay. Let's 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 get at this thing you asked this question because you have to understand that this is important for the people who are listening to them. They, yeah, disciples are listening to this conversation. Exactly right, right. Just like people listening to us now, right. So 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 two times he tells them. He said, after he gave the right answer, Jesus said to him, "This do." And you shall live. Yeah, he did. Yeah, when he coming to 
in verse 36, he said, he asked him a question again. So, okay, now which of these three you think were neighbors? <laughs> he said, the one that went and visited him. He <laughs> comes back to him again and say, go and do likewise. likewise. <laughs> he just keeps the focus on doing. Woo! Woo! Since you come to me and ask me what must you do, let me tell you what you must do. Woo! <laughs> you must do the impossible. <laughs> wow. Wow. And, and, and look, on top of that, I guess follow the example of somebody that you despise. Oh, no, 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 no. This is a very serious, this section of scripture concerning how you gain access to eternal life. Jesus has to make sure that his hearers don't leave their confused. Woo! Mm. They don't leave their thinking that you can actually go and keep the law because the moment you engage to keep the law, because let me tell you something, a stop sign don't never change. Yeah. <laughs> Every time you approach a stop sign, it say the same thing. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Right. Love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, all thy soul, all thy mind, all thy strength to love your neighbor as yourself never changes. Woo! This means that you gotta live a consistent, unbreached life where you never violate mm. the spirit of that, of that commandment. Yeah. But we know anybody who was born of Adam don't stand a chance. Amen. That's why he told that rich, run, rich young ruler Y'all, you lack one thing. Oh, can can I see your your CIT, Bishop? Well, my CIT has has to focus on eternal life. It it focuses every it focuses everything in that verse on eternal life. And See that green button says share. You did it before anyway. You know how to do it. <laughs> green button. I think Addison already has it. Did he give it up? I think he yeah, did. I he did. did. He did. I, I, I think I still have multiple share. Let me make sure. Let me, let me yeah, it said multiple share. Let me, let me bring up my uh Sometimes that thing has two screens. There's a smaller one and a and a, a view one. Yeah, the Johnson, you got the car with you, brother. You on mute? Oh, you, you hear me now? Yeah, uh, I was on. Yeah, Monroe, Monroe. Uh... Alan, Alan was uh, was in the car. I just dropped him off at the house. He just got out of Field County. Oh, he and, was, he, he Yeah, was we just uh, look. Uh, 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 oh. he, 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 had to, he had to get his, uh, I mean, he got to get the internet. So what I'm going to do is when I get to the house, I'm going to call him and let him listen in while you guys talk. Okay, okay. Yeah, we're trying to get him in there, but uh, he got to get the internet first. But I'm still riding around. She'll be home in a few minutes. Did you do did you do a CIT for this? No, I didn't do that one. I did the one we was uh for, the, for discipleship. Was yeah, yeah, for the discipleship one. Okay. Yeah. So brother as just as as he's bringing it up, I'm saying I think I, I think it's more important for us, like you said, there's no right, there's no absolute right answer or wrong. It's just making sure i like to guide people down the path where you're coming from that's why i ask questions you know because you know some people will listen to it right the video uh i told i before you came in i said my brother was listening to uh uh one i just been sending out lately mm. right he was he was he was he, was, he got all mad with bishop for a while 
I got Mel Bishop. Yeah, he got Mel Bishop because, you know, when everybody else was talking about how we saw it as the shadow concerning the uh, Adam uh, and, and the dominion that Adam was given. And, and, and I told him, but I told him, bro, I said, well, Bishop is talking from a higher level. He's talking about the kingdom of heaven. Uh, with Jesus, and, and, and bit before you got here, brother uh, Elder Johnson and brother Asif, we, we 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 concluded that the kingdom of heaven has existed with God from the beginning. Yeah. And and Jesus brought the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God, when He came, which is at a spiritual level. Yeah. That's why it, it, you can't see it from observation, right? You can't see it from your senses because it comes within you. Okay. But we were talking, I think Elder said, you said it last that Sunday as well. We we're saying that no, it was a it was just a just a shadow of of the kingdom of God. That makes sense? Nexus. Yeah, it's just a shadow. But yeah, Jesus is the one that brought the kingdom. Yeah. Hey, Brother Adam, you see, Bishop put a lot of stuff in there, don't it? <laughs> well, you see, I, I think this is what you have to do. I mean, you, you, can't, you can't come up with a CRT if you don't do this. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work to be doing. I, I was sitting there, I was sitting there, Bishop. What I was sitting there, I just, you know, I just finished my, uh, that class I was taking, I, I passed the final exam, Elder. Huh? I, I passed the final oh, exam. Oh, you did? Yeah. Yay. Hey, I got, 80, I got 86 That's on good it. Day. Yeah. I did That's do good. My, and I did do my colon test today. They said it was too small. He said tiny, tiny polyps or something. I thought you were saying you got an 86 on your colon test. <laughs> <laughs> No, two, a bit, a brother has it. No, two things I was dealing with uh, <laughs> at the same time, and they both of them were important. Uh, okay. And at the same time, I was still trying to do my work too. So. Yeah, man. So, yeah. But so I've said it sometimes, and, and I guess I brought that up because I said, Bishop said it before when he retired, he shot all the clocks in the house, and he also said he turned down supervision because he wanted more dedication serving God. And I did everything opposite, Brother Addison. <laughs> I, I took on the supervision <laughs> and and I'm still working full time. You you retired though, so you have you might have. Do you have more time on your hands? Who, me? Yeah. <laughs> huh? That one in there? Number seven. Yeah. The law, of law, in accordance with God's law, eternal life is inherited through absolute obedience, wrought by wholehearted love of God and love of neighbor as oneself. That's what you. That's what Jesus tells you. You got to do. This is what you got to do. Now, He never addresses the issue that you can't do it. But this is what you got to do. Right. I think that it was once He understood that. You see, I think the reason that this lawyer said that he don't know who his neighbor is is because if he don't know who his neighbor is, he's free to assume that he loves God. Woo! Whoa! Whoa! And, and what oh. Jesus, Telling me that love of God can never be divorced from the love of man. Whoa, hey, Bishop, that's a t shirt. <laughs> that's a t shirt. That is a t shirt. What do you think, Brother Asa? Because that, that is that is a hard, and hey, look, how I better say it this way, Bishop? That's a hard saying. Well, I'm just saying it is what it is. <laughs> That's a hard saying, man. Because in the end, there be nobody in the kingdom that got in through law. Wow. Yeah. 
Wow. I may make this, I may title this, y'all, <laughs> that way. <laughs> you can't love God if you don't love your fellow man. Basically, basically, what the law, what the law really is all about is just like what Jesus, what that man told Jesus. No, Jesus said, look, man, law is about what you can do without trusting God. Wow. Jesus, when he left, he said a new commandment I give you. Yeah. To love one another, really. Yeah. Yeah, but that whole that whole commandment is is under the umbrella of divine influence upon the heart called yeah. grace. With the Holy Spirit coming, right. Law doesn't have that. Yeah. All you got is law is you. Wow. What you can do. And your fallenness and corruption. And it's, it's, it's more not. It's, it's really. I don't think it's what you can do. I think the law is about what you cannot do. Well, well you know the scripture goes with what he just said, though. Remember that one in John? I guess it's First John. I don't know if it's chapter one or chapter three, where it said that he who hates his brother is a murderer and has no eternal life abiding in him. That that lines up. What he just said lines up with that that verse. Is that right, Bishop? That that makes sense. You, you can't you can't do, you can't divorce the love of God from the love of man. Wow. I mean, because listen, how are you gonna say how you love God and you don't love a man the spirit of God dwells in? Wow. Man, you know if if that is if he's you know what. Dog, got it. That I'm, 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 I'll say this again. Hear what Jesus said. When I was hungry, you fed me. You did, yeah. When I was naked, you clothed me. Yeah. When I was in prison, you came to visit me. You visited me. And they said, "We well, did all that to you." Woo! Whoa! He said, "When you did it to the least of these, my brethren, in whom I dwell." But you didn't realize you were doing it to me. Wow. That is why he told Saul on the road to Damascus, why I persecuted thou me. He did say that, didn't he? Yeah. Woo! Man, you listen, you know that so many churches probably not don't tie that in. They just it, like their lawyers. That is that is I don't know about God. That's a that's a serious statement he just said. And that's a serious issue that we have in our society. That's a serious issue we have in the church. Amen. Wow. If, if I, I would say if you wrapped in this flesh, that's an issue. Wow. Well, yeah. well, listen now, but. The scripture clearly tells us that if we interpret scripture rightly, and if we understand why Jesus was sent, then we would, even though we are wrapped in flesh, he, 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 he clearly tells you that you are not in the flesh. Yeah. He said that, yeah. Yeah. In the world, but we're not of the of world. Of this world. Yeah. We're in the flesh, but we're not of the flesh. So yeah. the weapons of our warfare are not fleshy. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. I got. I'm gonna have to put this. This one got to go out. So it's a consistent truth. And like I say, if you get the CRT right, the CRT will mess with all the other truths that are in the Bible. What do you mean? Will mess with all the other truths? You mean? They're like pieces of a puzzle. They will fit oh, together. Okay. Otherwise, you get a conflict you get a contradiction. Gee, that, that's, that really is a message for, that's a, that's a message of all time, always supposed to be. We missed that message. But now, but now you, you, you know, my, my thing is, that requires that you give yourself to some serious thinking and pondering about what this thing is really all about. And I'm finding, I'm finding the more you think about it, 
the more you pull that thing up close and examine it, the more you focus on it, the more you begin to delve deep into it, the Spirit of God begins to open up real serious things that you ain't never thought about. Big time. That, but you 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 can't do no Geico commercial with this now. You can't get 15 minutes and think all of a sudden you got it. Right. That ain't gonna That's understood. Well, see, but it's it's just difficult. And I mean, you even said it is to wrap all that up in a few words. Well, um, first, I look at all the notes he put down first. Though. You did it too, Dave, too. So it's it's just difficult to wrap up all this into a few words, and it deals with so many scriptures to to me. Uh, To me, that there was there was like three different sections in that. Yeah, diff there's other things spinning off rabbit trails in it. Wait, but, wait, uh, now. I, I say this again. Don't let see. Don't let verse thirty to thirty six dis discourage you. That's an excursion. But Jesus it, it, does it. He leaves the he leaves the theme of what you're talking about. And, and you and you find this being done all the time in Paul's writing. If you ain't careful with Paul, you'll miss what he's talking about. Because Paul will start telling you a truth and go off on the excursion to explain what he's talking about. Then he'll come yeah. back. Yeah. He'll say a couple more things. He'll go off on another excursion. And then he'll come back. Right. And you'll be able to recognize what's excursion and what's the main theme. The main theme is what must I do in her eternal life? The, you sound like, you know, when I looked at your uh, CIT, it's, 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 it's kind of restating the. Uh, the law that was quoted, right? <laughs> Love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul. It's, it's kind of like a paraphrasing of that scripture and that neighbor's that self. Now, you, you do realize that that answer is a CIT of the whole Old Testament. You know, of the, of the, of the Exodus, you're talking about the Ten Commandments themselves? Well, look at what, look, look at what Jesus said. In one place he said, in one of the other places he said, what's written in the law and the prophets? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now the law is everything that Moses, God gave us to Moses. Right. Prophets is the rest of the Old, rest of the Old Testament. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I mean that's 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 really powerful. You know, because what was brought on mind when you said that too? You know, when he said, you know, that that scripture, I guess it was in Luke or John, where he said, "Unless you eat my flesh and drink my blood, you have no part of me." This 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 part about love your man as much as you love God. You, got, you can't love God and, and hate your brother, your fellow man. 